Today I want to show you guys how to make a simple, easy breezy dessert. It's called sugar corn popsicles. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. If you remember earlier today when I was doing Duku I'm going to do two shows today because I don't want this to go to waste. And I opened this, what's it called, cream style golden corn. This is the kind that we as Belizeans, when I was little, we used to eat this and we call it sugar corn. And there's only two ingredients. This is one of these Bear Pantry meals, you guys. Two ingredients to making this um, sugar corn. And you can eat it two different ways. You can, well, after I mix it, you can eat it right when it's done, or you can make popsicles with it. And today, that's what I've chosen to do. I'm gonna make popsicles from the sugar corn, okay? So let's get started. All I'm gonna do right here is pour that can of cream style corn in this bowl. Of course, if you're having guests, you wanna do more than one can, but I'm just gonna do one can. And Joe's the one that likes this a whole lot, okay? And so, I'm using a tablespoon to measure the sweetened condensed milk, because I wanna tell you how much we put. And this, of course, is totally to your taste. So this is one tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna start off with two, all right? I know that Belizeans on a whole will put a lot more, but we kind of have to watch our sugar. You know, I don't like when people call it diabetes. So I have a little bit of sugar. It's not a little bit of sugar. Diabetes is serious, all right? So let me tell you, let's mix it. And on the topic of um, this sugar corn, I like a lot of corn. And I like a lot of beans. I think I like carbs, but I have to watch how I eat it. So basically, it's as simple as this to make the sugar corn. If you hear a Belizean person say, oh, for dessert today, I'm gonna have sugar corn. This is it, okay? Cream style corn from the can, sweetened condensed milk. I know some people put sugar. I don't because condensed milk already has sugar. And then you wanna go ahead, I have a little spoon here. I wanna go ahead and taste it. Put it on my hand because I stick the same spoon back in there, right? Okay, so it's not sweet enough. So I'm going to put another tablespoon. I'm going to put this recipe in my, in my new book, which is nowhere near finished. I have like 14 recipes for that because I'm still editing Jada's book. I'm an awful editor. Anyways, this is three tablespoons. Let's see if that's enough. Put it in my hand again. Okay, that's pretty much getting there. Almost there. It's more there than not. I'm going to put a fourth tablespoon. And like I said, this is subjective. This is totally to your taste. You may have a sweeter tooth than me or vice versa. So, anyways. I believe this is pretty much done. I'm gonna taste it one more time. And see how we are. Okay, that's just perfect for me. So that was one can of cream style corn, four tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. And now let me get my ice, ice cube tray so we can make popsicles out of this. All right, so nothing hard to making sugar corn popsicles. <coughs> Here we go, I, I'm using this little bitty spoon so that I, not to make a mess. And all I'm doing, I bet you didn't think it was gonna be this easy. <laughs> all I'm doing is adding the sugar corn, we call the sugar corn popsicles, to the ice cube tray. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get out of this bowl. But let's try to be even Steven with it and see if we can get this full tray, okay? Then we're gonna put it in the freezer to set, and in a few hours, I'm gonna come back and show you our sugar corn, or cream style corn, popsicles. I'll also let you know if I get the full tray, okay? See my popsicles are setting? So I'll be back in three to four hours when they're all set, okay? Okay, so it only took a couple of hours, you guys, 
See how it looks? This is our nice sugar corn popsicles. Of course, you can make ice cream out of this too, but that I'm gonna have to show you a different day because I don't have an ice cream tub. We might try to do it like in our neutral bullet or something, one of those blenders, you know? And this is all it is. I tell you, the kids are gonna kill me for using their ice cube trays to put this stuff in it. <laughs> Take a look, see? Isn't that gorgeous? So as I'm sure you guys have figured out, if you're inviting guests over, you're going to need to make more and you're also going to need to do it from the day before or at least early that morning of whichever day you're having the guests come over. You can use other types of popsicle molds, you know, the kind that comes kind of like that and it has a plastic thing that goes in, but I don't use that because I hate cleanup, okay? At least with these ice cube trays, you just kind of dump them out, you serve them in a copper bowl. They can either pick them up with their fingers and eat it or they can eat it with a spoon and actually it's just a nice little dessert and especially if you're watching you know your sweets and stuff you can have one one little serving and not be a pig about it and you should be fine so i hope you guys make it i'm gonna put this in my my future book <laughs> you know so you notice i'm not in any rush to make the other book right i'm still working on jada's thank you guys so much for watching for liking for sharing for subscribing for buying the book and everything that you do to support me until i see you again take care